Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of AndrewsFootball.com. And with the 15th pick in the 2019 draft, what are the Redskins going to do? Well, you, you, know, uh, you know, that's actually a great question. But let's break down the Washington Redskins and uh, what, what their season was like. They finished 7-9. and nine. Uh, They signed Alex Smith after not wanting to sign Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins uh, ended up getting big money in Minnesota. They signed Alex Smith for my Chiefs. Unlike most... Uh, Kansas City Chiefs fans, I actually really liked Alex Smith, and I thought the Redskins were getting a really good player, and it looked great. They were 6-3. and three. They looked like they were going to win uh, the NFC East, and then all of a sudden he breaks his leg, that gruesome injury. He's not even going to play in 2019. Colt McCoy comes in. He breaks his leg. They end up signing... Uh, uh, Mark Sanchez and Josh Johnson. I actually got a phone call from Jay Gruden. He wanted me to play quarterback. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, joking. Uh, it, it's, I'm, I'm playing. I, he doesn't know my number. Uh, anyway, uh, they, they went with four quarterbacks. Anytime you go four quarterbacks to start a season, you know it's not going to be good. So he started off six and three, finished at seven and nine. And so uh, they, didn't, they didn't do that good. Now they ended up re signing Adrian Peterson for two years. Uh, but before I talk about the offense, I want to talk about some of the free agent signings, uh, specifically uh, Landon Collins and Dominique rogers Camardi coming back. Uh, now, is he going to be a starter? I'm not really sure. They had Fabian Monroe. He was, he was a third-round pick out of UCLA last year. I was really, really, really high on him, actually, 2017, but I was really high on him coming out of college, and, and I thought he'd do a little more. He may have an opportunity uh, to do something this year. Um, it's kind of funny because if you count Ryan Anderson as the current starter, Preston Smith left uh, for Green Bay for big money, but if Ryan Anderson's a starter, this, this Redskins defense has four starters from Alabama, and, and all four of these guys could be really, really good. Uh, Landon Collins, of course, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen. Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen, the Redskins got these guys for steals. If, the, if this defense can stay healthy, I think people are really going to be surprised. This this actually could be a top five defense, but uh, you have to have some things work out for you. Ryan Anderson has to grow up and and be a and be a special player like he had the ability that has the ability to do. In my opinion, uh, Landon Collins got to be like the guy he wants to be. Josh Norman, but Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen, these guys can be studs. Kerrigan's still a double digit sack guy. So. I, I like the defense. I'm really, really higher on the defense than a lot of other people are, but if everything locks into place, this defense could be really, really good. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the offense. I mentioned Adrian Peterson. Derek Geis is going to come back. But I just saw something that he he's, he's iffy to start the season, and that's okay because you got Adrian Peterson. You really want Geis healthy uh, toward, towards halfway through the season because if Adrian Peterson's healthy, he can still get you 1,000 yards. So, um, and, and here's the thing. You went ahead and you signed Case Keenum. And, uh, and, and his story was he was actually playing really, really good football in Minnesota. And then the Broncos signed him. Now, as a Chiefs fan, I'm doing this. I'm like, way to go, Broncos. Because they thought they were signing a Pro Bowl quarterback, and that's not the case. All right. Now, now Keenum can be a very good quarterback, but he has limitations. See, the Redskins said, hey, look, we have two good wide receivers. We have a great defense. Just don't turn the ball over. That's it. You, you know who else they're, they were asking that to? Alex Smith. So I love the Case Keenum signing because he can do the same exact thing Alex Smith did. Because here's what they were wanting to do. Hey, we're going to play good defense. We're going to run the football. We're not, we're not asking you to do the same things that Aaron Rodgers does. We're not asking you to do the same thing that Phillip Rivers or Patrick Mahomes does. Just don't turn the ball over. We're going to play good defense. We're going to run the ball. We're not asking you to put 40 up. That, that's not what you're here for. So I, I like the Case Keenum signing, but, but obviously it's not a long-term solution because Alex Smith obviously is not going to play in 2019. So here's the thing. They have the same blueprint that the Minnesota, that, 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 that the Minnesota Vikings had. They're going to play good defense. They're going to be able to run the ball. And now they got the quarterback who, who they just need not to make mistakes. So Redskins fans, you had a chance for a playoff run this year. But, you know, the whole video, Dan, who are they going to take at the 15th pick? Well, you, you need help at wide receiver. Okay, you really need help at wide receiver. My draft crush, Nikhil Harry, he's available. 
Uh, you got gr uh, Greedy Williams. That's a possibility. Uh, Montez Sweat, if you're watching my mock draft, Montez Sweat's still available. Some people are saying he's a top 10 pick. And it's 15! So he's available. Uh, Christian Wilkins, this is a great... Christian Wilkins and Montez Sweat, you take them at 15, you're getting great value. So Dan, who are they going to take? Well, for the 15th pick in the 2019 draft, I got the minute... I got the... I said Minnesota Vikings, didn't I? The Washington Redskins, I got them taking Andre Dillard, uh, the offensive tackle out of Washington State. And here's why. Uh, you got a stud left tackle in Trent Williams. He was the fourth overall pick in 2010. But unfortunately, uh, when the season starts, he's going to be 31. He's been a pro bowler every year since 2012. But 2013 is the last time he played a full 16-game season. The last three seasons, 12 games, 10 games, 13 games. And I'm getting all my statistics from a pro football reference. And, and it has it last year. They have a listed left guard and tackle. I, I don't know. But I, I'm going into 2019. He's obviously playing tackle. And they also signed Eric Flowers to play guard. And, and they did give an extension uh, to, uh, who was it, Morgan Moses, who plays right tackle. So, Dan, now keep in mind, the Redskins don't have the most stable of organizations. There's a lot of organizations I'm very high on. The Redskins is not one of them. Because if they go 7-9 in uh, 2019, is Jay Gruden going to keep his job? Is he going to be fired? What's the expectations here? But um, you don't know. So you got to do what you can with this draft pick to make sure that your team improves. Well, if, if you're only start, if you're counting on him, now keep in mind, 12, 10, and 13, I mean, you know, I mean, that that's a, that's 13 games over the last three years. That's almost a full season, all right? You need somebody who can play left tackle and can play at a high level right away because you, you can't count on, on a Trent Williams, one of, one of my favorite, maybe, maybe a top five offensive tackle still if healthy, but he's going to be 31 when the season starts. He hasn't been able to stay healthy. Get the guy who's a plug-and-play left tackle. Of all the tackles in the draft, the guy who's most ready to start day one, in my humble opinion, is Andre Dillard. Now, another reason why I like Dillard is that it was brought up during the combine. He has some issues with his footwork. Well, Bill Callahan is one of the best offensive line coaches, and he's an assistant head coach in football. Get the guy who's capable of being a starter, who has some issues with footwork. You can get that ironed out in training camp. But if you do sign him, sign him fast, get him ready to go. I also like the fact they signed Eric Flowers to play guard. Now, on most teams, I wouldn't like this because you're drafting, you're, you're, you're signing a guy who's never played the position before. Maybe then Pop Warner or something, but you know, a lot of times people do this. They they think, oh, you just play him at guard. Well, you play too much Madden's, which a problem is the movement of guard. I don't like that in most teams. I I like it with the Redskins because you have an A plus offensive line coach, and that's another reason why I'm really high on the Andre uh, Dillard pick here going to the Redskins because this is a guy who can who could be your day one starter. Uh, this is a guy who's going to have to probably play this year a couple of games, and being that you you got a new quarterback. Uh, Seven to nine may get you fired. I honestly have no idea. You know, that's the crazy thing about the Washington Redskins. I actually have no idea. If you're seven to nine, is that good enough to keep you around for another year? Do you have to make the playoffs? I mean, what we're and, and that's the thing I don't even think I grew to know. So uh that that's kind of my analysis of the Washington Redskins. This is a team that really could be a playoff team. And the best part is, is that if you if you have Trent Williams healthy and ready for the playoff run, then then you're in good shape. But if you got if he's not available, you yeah I got plug and play guy. And and this is a team that is capable of making the playoffs, but that defense really has to step up, and they got to make sure they don't ask Case Keenum to put up forty a game. That's not a strength. So by the way, if you are a subscriber to Andrews Football, you already know you're one of the greatest people on planet Earth. All your wildest dreams are going to come true, and. If, if you're new to Andrews football, you're a Redskins fan, you're a mock draft football fan, you're a draft fan, or you just like seeing the cool hat, check this out. There's this little button right here. There's a red, red button. Check it out right here. Bam! Hit that button. Become one of the greatest people on planet Earth. Wait till tomorrow where I break down the 16th pick in the NFL draft.
I'll see you tomorrow.